Hello everyone. Um, today is a follow-up to the previous uh, video that I've made about isolating um, Revit warnings using Dynamo. Um, you can see on my screen is a uh, is a post that I've made uh, with a link to a YouTube video. So uh, feel free to come check it out at archi-lab.net. Anyways, uh, one of the questions posed to it was: Is it possible? to do the same kind of parsing of the uh, HTML report but instead of warnings to look at the interference that Revit uh, creates it's uh, kind of a brute force um, flash detection inside of Revit it's not as sophisticated as Navis works but it works for certain things and I guess people are interested in it so Julian was asking a question uh, if it's possible to do um, and yes, the answer is yes, it's very possible. Um, I have put together a little example. So it's basically the same workflow. I literally had to change a few lines of code in, uh, in the HTML parser to get it to do the same thing, which is isolate elements that are actually clashing with each other. But this time we're using uh, HTML file generated by the interference check. So on your collaborate tab, go to interference and run interference check. And then, before I even go there, I created a couple of uh, random in interferences, which is like I moved furniture inside of walls and um, furniture on top of windows and that kind of stuff, like windows on top of doors and whatnot. So I created all these clashes in my file. So if you run the clash detection, and I can, you know, you can run it for all of them, and it will it will throw up a list of all those separate clashes or you can do the same thing and run it for let's just say furniture clashing against everything else um, and that's a different list so e either one you can export and then I'm just gonna save it um, let's delete this one I'm just gonna save that HTML file on my desktop close it go to a Dynamo pick that file from the desktop that I just created, the HTML, and feed that into uh, my HTML parser. Um, so I made a little slight improvement. You no longer have to convert this to a TXT, uh, like previously in my video. Um, uh, I added a little code that actually handles an HTML and extracts a source code from it, so there's no need to convert it to a TXT. Anyways, uh, once you have that, um, if you hit run, you can see on my screen everything disappeared except the objects that I set to be clashing. And since I specified only furniture versus everything else, um, here are my clashes. Furniture inside of walls, uh, tables inside of walls, tables and uh, couches inside of, uh, on top of windows and whatnot. Um, so this gives you a list of all the IDs of elements to be isolated and this tells you how many clashes there was um, and this component has been posted to uh, a package manager uh, called isolate and view uh, you can feed it a string like these are actually strings not real object IDs of you know not real Revit objects but you can feed it either or uh, it will take IDs either as strings or actual ID objects and isolate those in active view um, and then display that view name for you. So you can clearly see what's clashing with what and um, thinking about doing some graphical uh, interpretation for that a little bit later but here it is Julian uh, you can easily parse the interference check and uh, isolate it in view as well so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna post it to my to my blog um thanks for uh thanks for watching thanks for listening and uh thanks for participating and asking questions um stay tuned and uh, i'm looking forward to the next video thank you